Hello, I'm Ed Trissom, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as America in the Millennium Dawn mod, so in modern times, with Trump as our president. Uh, right, I believe our current plan is that uh, we are going to base ourselves out of Guam. That is the Northern Marianas, but, you know, it's close. Guam, thank you. Uh, for an assault on Korea, and then if we want to, we can use Korea as a staging post for uh, an actual invasion of China, maybe. Uh, or we could, you know, figure out a way to get to Iran. Although I'm not exactly sure how we do that. It has to be a very, very long, windy invasion route. We could maybe manage it. Now, let's check Korea. I believe you are... Ah, you are guaranteed by China. Right. Yeah, there's no way we could really do that, then. No, we can't really take China on. What about Iran? Okay, so we could invade Iran. But we'd have to figure out a way to get there. We could Bahrain. Qatar. Nedama Emirates. Where could we base out of? I wonder... we just select this. Oh, 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 hello. We can base out of France. Wait, no. Oh, that's not France. I thought France was going down here. There we go. We can base out of France. Right. So, we're allowed to base out of our allies to go for a war, even if that ally isn't involved in a war, I think. Okay. Now, the question is, do we go to war with the troops we've got? Because we don't actually have the equipment to replace them with. I think so. Right. Uh, we've actually got a few people who are still... There we go. Green. Oh, just one green. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Right, so, naval invasion. In fact, we might want to split you so that we can have uh, two naval invasions practicing at the same time, which will decrease the time needed. Okay, so let's... Can I split you? Yes. And then let's just select a little bit less so we can fit it into a 24 group. Yes, even the Ohio State troops are getting sent over this war. We're going all out. Mountaineer, that's actually going to be really useful. So we're going to give you an order to go from here. Up to here. Ooh, that's better. Right. Um, and then you. Naval capacity exceeded. Used in invasion 24, total limit 30, select divisions 29. We need to increase our transport cap. Okay. There are no units assigned to this order. Okay, so what you're saying is like I can have, what, less units attached to this? Was it six? Yes. Okay, how do I select everyone but these six? Okay, in fact, I can just select all. And then, oh, I have to... Right, this is where it gets a little bit fun. To actually manage to transport them, we go to San Francisco. Because otherwise, I don't know if it would just be the six that goes there. I kind of think it would be, and I want everyone there. Then we tell everyone to come over here. You'd think we'd have understood, like, by now... Oh, God, every time I see that face. Uh, how to do, like, naval warfare and invading with large amounts of... Oh, God, what is... Why are there so large gaps? That is horrific. Oh, because they want to have these on, like, all the different ones? Okay. That makes it really hard to read, though. I really do not like this research tree. Look at that. Like, this... It goes actually under here. Ah. And I can't actually see a way to do 
like bigger naval invasions. Cold War transport ships. Oh, it's a little bit broken. Could be an update to the game or something. Uh, underscore, 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 underscore. Takes 41 days. Increase it by 20. Yeah, we need to do that ASAP. Cool. And we'll uh, wait a little while and then we'll get the Navy over there as well. Oh, hello. Major reactionary rally. The political left is not our friend and certainly not to the way forward. Atheism, political progressivism and immigration are a package that leads to inevitable, suicide, uh, inevitable national suicide. Stop it now or be silenced for good. The reactionary Democrats of our country have gathered to celebrate the values of our fatherland and the possibility of a representative three and untainted democratic system. Oh no, don't want the reactionaries getting in charge. Pfft. Hey, that actually is remembering like Trump real life. Yeah, I'm still missing all of these. Not really much I can do about that. They are moving slowly. Okay, I was wondering if they were. Right, how's the rest of the world going? Islamic states that exist. How do they have a... Supported our religious group. Oh. ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that is technically true. That's really awkward that they, we, yeah, no, they shouldn't have a positive, no, they should hate us. I don't know why, what what you could give them as like a, but yeah, no, they, they definitely should not like us. That seems a little bit wrong. Okay, we got decryption, we got encryption. Oh, all of our French forces we got here. Oh, well, you didn't actually transfer them across as I was kind of expecting, so yeah, we should we should take these for ourselves. Free forces. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Let's uh I don't know, for now, we're just gonna put them in America. Just give them like a garrison order or something. And then we definitely want to get Why does the tech tree even go back as far as here? Like, you will always start off with all this stuff. I don't know why all of this is in the tech tree. Like, what is the point in having that and that? If this is 2000 and the game starts in 2000. Oh, maybe you have to research this, right? In 2000, because it's only just maybe. Is she new? I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to get to grips with how this works. It is still, you know, a game that is, uh, well, a mod that is very much in the development stage, which is why I wouldn't have normally chosen to play it. But we're playing a, playing a short series. Uh, all right, let's go for engineering. We could go for another encryption, decryption stuff. Gen 4 bomber. Oh my god, we don't even have, like... I'm seeing how the Gen 6 multi-roll looks very familiar. Hmm. Let us go for... Honestly, we probably should go for improved artillery. But I'm going to go for uh, Field Hospital, just because I kind of want the trickle back, even as America. I don't know how crazy we're going to be. I mean, honestly, we'll probably be playing this long enough that trickle back will actually have any real impact, but we'll see. How long is it going to take you to plan that? Uh, about another 140 days. Okay. Well, effectively, we're going to be waiting a little while then. How's the rest of the world going? Seemingly okay. Eventually, we'll break up NATO and all that, but uh, not today. Why are you taking so long to travel? Let's have a look. Wow, that is a lot of attrition. Let me guess. No one's actually bothered putting infrastructure in the United States. Despite the fact, you know, the United States really should have some excellent infrastructure by now. Mm, it's not bad, actually. Well, we'll add that to the list of things we need to desperately do. Well, some of it was broken. Oh, actually, all the stuff in Texas. Oh, uh, all but two of the stuff in Texas was broken. Right, start your traveling. Cold underscore war underscore transport underscore ships. And then 
modern transport ships. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, apparently these nine... Why are they separate? Okay, right. What do I do? Control right click to select assigned four. Why don't we select all? Okay. So I've just left nine units behind. Who are going to walk there anyway? Because that was their last order, I think. That's fine. Okay, how are we doing down here? Uh, missile crews, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Frigates. Good. Question 1. Well, might as well leave time playing while we go for the question. Where do the carries end up? Oh, yeah, we had them uh, patrolling the coast. They're a little bit out of uh, fighters and stuff, but oh well. I'm sure they'll work. Right, come on. How are we doing? Looks like uh, everyone who... Ooh, hello. Oh, these are extra forces that we got transferred as well. Again, these are some French, some Canadian... Let's put an admiral in charge. Oh, we don't have an admiral. Bit overlooked there. Right. They're almost ready. So, let's begin our preparations. We want you to be on patrol. Actually, it will be convoy uh, escort. The Persian Gulf. And then we'll need to split this in half. New commander. And then let's give you convoy escort. Okay, and we're going to have to fix the other one. Not that one. That one. You? Yes. And you should be on the Somali coast. That way we should have all the areas covered. Right. Justify war goal. Conquer. Iranian as a uh, uh, Iranian Azerbaijan. There we go. I can words. Go to store two. Uh, I'm gonna say we should probably want something like logistics company. Just so we use our supplies, because that means I can produce less. Because right now industry is actually a really big issue. Especially considering our supply. Yeah. This is pretty horrendous. Yeah. Pretty horrendous. What we need to do is flip ourselves so that we've got more, uh, less, less consumer factories, right? We need to go to war so we can do that. More capacity. Oh, we kind of made our... Like, bed now. We have to lie in it. We could do that, but then we'd have to send people over and stuff and delay the war, maybe. Uh, we're doing that. Tanks would always be cool. Uh, honestly, we could probably just go for the plane up upgrade of the M4. Actually, more support weapons. Straight up buff. Doesn't even require us to start rolling out new equipment. Whee! How's ISIS doing? They're still holding out. Advanced computing machine. Oh my god, we have advanced computing machine. We basically bought like Apple Max. That's a joke. That actually is in favor of Apple. So that is the only time I will actually ever make that joke. Don't worry, I will not make that mistake again. Uh, what else have we got? Honestly, there's so much. I'm kind of getting analysis paralysis about which one to pick.
Ceramic body armor might help. It's a nice flat buff. Yeah, we'll grab that. Ah, that's the United Kingdom there. Okay. No idea who it is when I zoom out. Let's get delay. We're learning about delaying tactics. I know, this is uh, really advanced. Oh, I did not know about that. I don't know about Swaziland. I did not know about Lesotho, which is uh, landlocked in... See, you learn everything by playing Hearts of Iron. These Paradox games are really good for your geography. If your geography is especially terrible, I might. Right, how are you looking? You don't have enough info on the Red Sea. Comes the Red Sea. Ah, balls. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Right, well, we can sort that. It's just going to mean that you need to travel. Uh, new naval commander. There we go. Do, 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 do. When are you going to be ready? 2nd of February. A few months. Okay. Combat preparations 2. Well, we're still building our wall, so... Wow, that wall takes a long time! I did not realize that that took 350 days to build a wall. It's a little bit excessive. I, I would say that, you know, maybe it's more than 70, but I would not say it's a year. That is uh, incredibly excessive. Especially for the minimal buffs it provides. Yeah, it gives you forts. Sure. Against Mexico. And it gives you 3% national unity. Just 3%. Mm. Oh, my tea's lukewarm. That's what you get for ignoring your tea too long. It's like a crime against humanity right there. Uh Ooh, tempting. I think we should go for recon. Okay, you're basically ready to go. You're ready to go. On support weapons. Um, improved anti-tank weapons, sure. And it gives you extra breakthrough in defense and stuff, so yeah, like, basically amazing. Extensive conscription, export focus civilian economy. Right, come on February. Ceramic body armor. Multicam. Yeah, that's cool, multicam. One month and like a week, and then we'll be at war. Just a little bit more. NATO's just like, wait, what are you doing, America? It's a bit like the whole Iraq thing. I wonder if... Are we supporting Iraq currently or something? We are not supporting Iraq. Oh, we stopped supporting Iraq. Though they have got the buff to relations because we originally supported them at one time or another. Same for Afghanistan. You think Afghanistan would be like a puppet or something of the US or something? Just to represent the fact that, you know, there's still like an incredibly heavy presence there. And they're very much reliant, uh, I mean, diplomatically. Quite, quite actually everything, pretty much. A few more days, a few more days. And 
Hi. I'm declaring war. United States goes to war. Okay, cool. And we're not going to call on our allies. All diplom All diplomats of United States have failed. They will now sort out the differences with the enemy on the battlefield. May the heavens help us. Go, go, go. No, I'm not I'm not allowing you to join. I'm going to scrap Honestly, I think what we do is we scrap everyone and that way we can pull them out when needed. Send them back to the reserves. There we go. Then we just have to trash all of them so that we can pull them out abroad. Ah, there's a cunning trick. You just hold us enter. And you just go through them all. Beautiful. 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 I'm gonna try and grab an airfield while we're over there for our air power to be able to help dominate the battlefield. Oh, and that's it. And yes, we have available planes in the reserves. I just put them there. All right, carry out. Carry out. Carry on. I couldn't choose. I said. A mixture, and it was terrible. Um, right, they split into a 1 and 19, and a 1 and 23. Of course, that's great. Oh, God, everyone in NATO is like, we want to go to war as well. Please, let us. You, you, US Sam. US Senpai. Please, let us go to war. Yeah, let's sell it off. Um, you're ruining my screen. There's only so many I can click, like one every second or something, so it's really annoying to go through them. Uh, I can't really afford to do tanks yet because the, the industrial power to produce them just isn't there. Which is annoying because it's not right in real life. Uh, we are 2018. We can actually build... Advanced 3D manufacturing. I'll be honest, this logo is pretty bad because it takes up so much of the screen you can't really tell if you're allowed to build this or not. You can't tell if it's grayed out. Or green or anything because most of the screen is white. But I can just about tell around the edge that it is uh, available. So let's start doing that one. Okay, here we go. Invasion time. Okay, come on. Grab the port. Improved anti tank. I love it. Can we learn this one yet? Yes, 2010. Of course we can. I gotta admit. I would very much like it if you didn't have to scroll all the way over there. It's kind of annoying to scroll sideways. Because you don't have an inbuilt scroll wheel on your mouse for that. Like, I've actually got... Like a little bit of a scroll thingy that allows me to do that, but I, it doesn't actually work in Hearts of Iron. Uh, we'll grab the next one. That was remarkably easy. Alright, let's spread out and grab the entire coast, I guess. Okay, Ryan, you're going down. We should also probably declare war on ISIS. Justify war goal. Do we literally have no war goals against ISIS? Really? Are you sure that's realistic? Either way, we're going to end the episode here for today. Uh, we have managed to invade Iran. And let's see how this goes. I've been at Elysium. Until next time, like, subscribe, and stay shiny.